Hi right, guys, welcome back to another episode. This right here is my new boat. I figured I'd do a video on it because it is a very special boat to me, um, especially for a flathead angler. Uh, I live here on a shallow river and I've always ran a deep V and had a lot of problems. I still have that boat, um, but for certain situations, this boat right here is the ultimate flathead machine. Um, it's the ultimate shallow water boat. I mean, even better than some of the bigger jet drives because this one weighs literally nothing. Uh, 500 pounds, maybe less, I I'm not sure. But I can move this boat around with ease. Um, it's new to me and when I got it, um, it had a lot of problems. There was a lot going on with it that I just did not like. So this boat's unique to me because I have made it my own and turned it into what I think is gonna be a very good flathead boat. So. Um, I'm going to show you around the boat, what I've done to it, and then I'm going to take it for a ride and show you guys how shallow it can really go. Um, just take my word for it. It is some of the water I'm going to be running through is six inches, three inches. I mean, it doesn't matter as long as there's nothing sticking up to that. I'm going to uh, <laughs> that I'm going to wreck the bottom of the boat on, you know, it doesn't leak. Um, and uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about the boat real quick. It is a uh, I believe it's an 87 low it's a 1648 is the hull and um that is a yamaha three cylinder 50 horse so it's a 50 35 and uh that is a lot of power for this little light boat um but yeah when i got the boat everything was trash i'll show you what i redid on it um trailer's really old but it it doesn't need to be much because it just has to pull me to the river right so it's an older boat but uh i have made it mine i got it for a really good deal and uh i just had to do some work on it so without further ado let me uh let me grab you guys and and show you around the boat and show you what i've done all right guys so let's start off with um one of the first things that i did on this boat when i got it is i put a a floor in here now how i did that was I put the foam underneath and then I put wood, uh, deck plywood which was coated in epoxy resin and I put these uh, gym mats on the floor. Um, the guy before had some literal wire or something. I don't know what he had but uh, I was not liking it. Um, I kept it really simple guys. I, uh, I got a big, it's not a big, it's actually 12 inch but it's like 33,000 lumens. I put that on a switch panel. Um, I redid the council, the whole council. I put a, uh, here, I'll show you guys. I put a, uh, a knobby on here because when you are ripping down the river, it seems to get squirrely when you're on plane, like almost like a jet ski. You can't, um, you have to correct your, your turn. So I put that on there and it, it really helped. Shout out to uh, fish on Luke. I saw that he did that with his, I don't have hydraulic steering, but, um, I still needed it. I still felt like I needed it. Um, so yeah, I redid the council. I put an HDS um, 7 Lowrance on here. And uh, yeah, put a switch panel. So I got lights. I got a spotlight. You can see it up front. And then I have my USB. And then I have my, obviously I redid all the wiring in the boat. Um, it, uh, it It's my project. And, uh, and guys, this is, uh, when you do something like this, you really, you really love it. So anyway then i put the uh put my rod holders in these are t-bars that i had somebody weld for me and i put them through with two plates so they are very very solid and uh very very solid guys um redid the whole trailer redid the lights painted the whole trailer sanded painted the trailer is like from 1975 um so yeah i repainted it put some reflective tape on there just whatever the hull I'm not doing nothing with because it's the Fox River and it literally stains every everything. So I'm not going to paint the hull. It doesn't leak, so that's good. This transom is redone. It's got the gussets on it and it's very strong. So it can handle this 50 horse um, with no problem. Now, let me tell you about the motor. First of all, it would lock up and it would like not shift. Um, with this guy, all he did was rip down a river and just beat the crap out of his boat so i went through the whole motor 
um, did the carbs, um, cleaned those, new steering and um, throttle, or new throttle cables right here, um, new gas tank, new battery, and then new control, new control box here. Um, so yeah, I did a lot of work on it. I put a new impeller in it. Um, I shimmed the... Uh, I shimmed the impeller, the jet impeller, um, to my liking to get it closer. They say, I think, I forget, correct me if I'm wrong, one thirty seconds of an inch. It's really, it's got to be, anybody who has a jet knows, it's got to be really close. And uh, I shimmed that down a little bit and uh, cleaned up the whole motor. It looked like garbage before. But uh, this is a three-cylinder. These things are beasts. Um, this is a 50 horse, so th these are beasts. I deleted the oil um, because it wasn't, it was getting stuck on me. I deleted the oil, uh, direct, or whatever. The direct oil pump, whatever you call it. So, here's my transducers, guys. Um, I mounted them as far as I could away from the jet. I mean, this one I don't care, this is just a high speed, but this one, as far as I could possibly go. And uh, it seems to be reading really good. And um, that's my boat, guys. That's the flathead. It's gonna be a Slayer for sure. I can just, uh, I can just see it. The other thing is it doesn't weigh anything. So I mean, the gas mileage, guys. I mean, you gotta understand. We don't. It. I don't get rich off of making these videos. It's not like I can afford to just go everywhere. Um, so, yeah. Um, it doesn't cost nothing to pull the boat. So. Also redid the bunks, did I say that? Yeah, so the whole trailer's pretty much done. I'll put some new tires on, they're cheap. But I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys like the boat. Let's take this thing for a ride and uh, see if we can uh, go very, very shallow. And I'm sure this boat is very fast. Uh, for a little guy, I mean, it's good. So uh, let's launch the boat and get out there. guys check it out this is this is gonna be a foot of water back here we're gonna go in it see how she does get on plane here ready discharge right here i mean with this boat i can get to places that i could never ever get to so 
so yeah guys with this boat i can get to places i can never get to on my blue boat so that's why i got this i did a lot of work and uh it's paying off i mean as you guys can see i can go wherever i want to in our river we don't have those rocks i'm just going to the bank though we don't want to run into the bank or anything like that but we don't have the rocks sticking out of the water i mean we might have some trees or something but for the most part anywhere i want to go i can go with this boat so it gives me a lot more options as far as uh flatheads go and, and things like that so we're gonna probably shoot back to the ramp and it's snowing like crazy so all right you guys ready All right, let's go back over here. I'll show you guys how deep this water really was. Oh man, it's getting nasty out. Yeah, it's getting really windy out here. <laughs> Let's see where we're at here. Uh oh, all right, we're not even at a foot of water here. Yeah, I'm, I'm touching the mud right now. So you can see, look, I mean, that's what we're getting. A normal prop. Oh man, it's getting nasty out here. Okay, so like I said, guys, with this boat, I can go to a place I normally could not get to with ease. I mean, we have a muddy river and some, I mean, gravelly bottom, but we don't have the rocks sticking out, so I can pretty much go anywhere I want. And uh, that is a big advantage because a lot of flatheads are in areas we cannot get to. I don't have to worry about my tracker breaking down because I, I hit something or I hit a stump. I mean, it's a shallow river um majority of it so um that's why i got this boat i hope you guys uh enjoyed it i mean this this thing is is awesome and i put a lot of time and effort into it i bet you it pays off this season so i hope you guys are subscribed to the the channel and uh, i got a lot of flathead content coming as soon as they start to eat you guys will know about it so um thank you for watching i hope you uh hope you enjoyed it see you on the next one